Okay. Okay. Are we live? Mm. Are we live? Mm -hmm. Yes, we live. Okay. Devin always loves to inform me when we're live. Okay, remember, After the I've tried to tell Devin he has to take the videoing from up here. He's doing a good job. So that you can't see up my nose hairs or... <laughs> <laughs> or the wrinkles. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Wait, get Nan too. Look at no. Nan. Look at Nan. She's Cinderella. She's here sweeping for us. That's right. Thank goodness the, for Nan. The trying ugly keep, stepsister. Yeah, trying to keep things real well, and clean. Devin did the front. I'm doing the um, back. Okay, so we'd like to welcome you here to um, Fabric Chicks Live at noon. We do it every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, join us at 3 o'clock on the Quilt Show Reno um, Facebook page. We um, interview um, the different vendors. Who's uh, up? Uh, hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hold on, it won't scroll. Who is it? It won't scroll. Hold okay, on. wait. Nan, you talk to him. So, oh, Nan, oh hi, I got girls. it. I got it. I got it. Hi. Hi. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, Beth is scurrying around as usual. Um, and we're going to show you today what. <laughs> What I don't even know, Devin says. No, we do know. We do have a plan. Um, and it is to show you what um, project I'm working on and the technique that um, has to be used to make the uh, trees crinkly. Crinkly. So this is what Beth is going to show you today. Don't walk on my... Okay, so um, part of what we love um, sharing with you is how easy art quilting can be because a lot of you are fearful of it you're afraid of it it scares you it intimidates you you think you're not really that artsy but you are or because capable. or capable but you are because we break it down into simple steps look at nan did, what did we not break it down into simple steps for you yes so nan is a very 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 beginner quilter she just came in and bought this cute little machine look at how cute that machine is she bought this cute little machine because she hasn't sewn in like 30 years 30 plus yeah and she when she can't get the tension right because she's using like right now she's using a 12 weight thread she'll just start turning all the knobs and then it's really really goes crazy and she brings it to me to fix. Yeah. Like I'm a mechanic. Uh, I'm no mechanic, okay? Take Trust it to me. take it to Tony's sewing and and mobile repairs because I am no mechanic. Well, um, I thought I was adjusting the thread tension when in fact I was adjusting the uh, uh, the presser foot tension. Holy crap! So Beth had to take my machine totally apart. And there were I mean, mice screws. living in it. There was there was lint, th th this much lint. You could have made another quilt out of it. Yeah, her, her. I didn't realize she didn't tell me, being the instructor that she's supposed to be when I'm new to a machine, <laughs> <laughs> that I'm supposed to clean the damn thing. <laughs> Apparently, periodically, not the twelfth of never. Yes. So. So her bobbin casing was like so compacted with lint that her bobbin couldn't even twist. Cut. Kind of an overstatement, but nonetheless, it was nasty. It was nasty. We had to unscrew parts of her machine that I have that never, never unscrewed, unscrewed before, before on any machine. And never will um, be But again. I think we got it put all back together, and it's purring like a baby. Well, um, well it was on Saturday. I haven't touched it since then. So, so here we're going to show you. This is basically, um, this is my Lake Tahoe scene here. The one I'm going to buy when mine doesn't turn out. Oh. And then here is the start of Nan's. So you can see she's kind of got some big chunks laid down. And then she did, she didn't really, she was here for three days, but she wasn't really a productive. dedicated, productive sewist because she was here with her girlfriend of 83 years <laughs> and they were goofing off and um, telling stories and they kept like doing like, they were like, uh, what do you call them? The marching drill band, marching, drill, drill marching people. Marching. Yeah. So they kept like, you'd turn around and they'd be walking through the store like. We wanted to be in the parade. <laughs> OMG, <laughs> it was like herding cats. The whole class was like herding cats. Yeah. So on Saturday, and I'll post pictures later, but on Saturday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we had 
um, I don't know, four or five people in here. Um, it was kind of like, it was supposed to be a landscape class, but it kind of diverged into whatever you want to do class. Yeah. So um, we did have Jayette who came from California and she brought some projects that she <laughs> had started sewing quilt as you go, which I have never done quilt as you go. I always think it's interesting when people want to bring to my UFO projects classes, something I've never done and then need me to help them. Yeah, but it, it. it needed to be fixed. It might have been so um, interestingly put together, like nothing really lined up, and um, I and it was supposed to be a, pa a baby quilt. I think it would have been perfect if she would have used it as a um, table runner. A, like yeah, center. It wasn't even really table runner. No, it was like no. a center table piece. Yeah. If she'd thrown it on the table and then covered it up with a large with a pot plant. Roast. And a pot roast, <laughs> it might have been perfect. But um, she really had her heart set on making it for her grandbaby. Yeah. And she put a lot of effort and time and love into it, and she loved it, even though we thought it was a bit crazy. Um, so we actually showed her, um, well, we showed her how to, but then we ended up just doing it for her. We sewed chenille onto it, did like a chenille rows in the center so they would be more appropriate for a baby um, so we'll post pictures as soon as she sends them to us and she pricked her finger there was blood all over it it was kind of a hot mess yeah. um, she called us the mean girls she did she called us the mean girls because we really told her that it should not be a baby quilt it's not baby colors it wasn't baby fabric soft no and it was quilt as you go so it was so hard and it was like 24 inches by 24 inches so it wasn't even really a good baby size and it was so hard that it you couldn't like swaddle them or um you could beat them with it you could yeah you could beat them with it yeah so anyways we saved so, it she's turning it into a pillow did you want me to read you the comments or were you gonna yeah oh are there yourself? comments yes what's the comments yeah, i don't know if you do you want me to read them sure honey okay let's go back to the top okay you didn't answer anything okay that they said earlier what's Hi, hello, hi, hi. Hi, girls. Hola. Hi, all of you. Hi. He, Beth, he, Beth. Hi. hi. Betsy's saying hi. Hi, Betsy. You know what? I, I have um, a recording of Stephanie, and I'll have it out here. What quilt did I post? <laughs> you can demo the quilt that you posted. Okay. Christy Lee, what quilt did I post? Okay. Um, Norma shared, so remember to put Norma in the drawing for Friday. Um. It, Cindy, it's true. If Nan can do it, anybody can do it. Cindy, look at, look at Cindy doesn't even know you, but she knows you. Mm -hmm. Thank you for the vote of confidence, Cindy. I appreciate it. Yeah. So who's going um, on the list? And then Norma. Norma. And Norma. then Mary says list. I can do almost anything. Mary Beatty. I know. Hi, Mary Beatty. Um, when you change your needle, you're supposed to clean your bobbin. I bet you she's never changed her needle. I was ne get over here, Devin, please. I was never told I need to change my needle. And now during the class, during the class, after it kept screwing up, et cetera, et cetera, Beth and Lynn Bonner both said, hey, maybe you need a denim needle. Well, hello, who the hell, when I restarted sewing, who's ever heard of a denim needle? Not I. So you know what? A little too much, a little too little information too late. So, you know what, now I, now I know, you know. Not to wait for Beth, that's my, that's my lesson that I've learned. Okay, back to, back to your mom. Okay, um, Mary shared, here, get back here, your job. I'm, I'm trying to find Mary some shared. <laughs> Mary. Peggy shared, Mercy shared, oh, Norma my. shared. Oh my God. Right Mary, fast. Mary, Mercy, Mary. Peggy. Peggy, Mercy, Norma. Norma. Okay. And Beverly Ann shared. Okay, perfect. Um, oh, so I, Christy Lee, I know. I think I'm going to call Sandra Mullen back up and see if she won't come do a class at the shop because I love that lily pad one that we shared this morning. Okay. Good morning, Linda. Oh, put Jody on there too, Jody Davila. Um, hi, Joan. Um, hey, Nan, run with it. Hey, baby. Nan runs with scissors all day long. <laughs> She's ridiculous. Oh, Cindy always here. shares. Put oh, Cindy on so it. speaking speaking of scissors, 
Um, I had some in my sewing kit and I pulled them out and what happened? Beth made fun of me. You know what? This is why I don't come down here very often. Uh oh, she's going to show my scissors. Okay, look at girls. Oh. Th this is Nan's sewing box. I think she got it from a thrift store. No, I got it at Walmart. Okay. Thank you very much. Walmart After thrift made store. one of my first one that belongs okay, to the Smithsonian. So look at these scissors. You know, those were my mother's. Like, they haven't been cleaned in I don't know how long. 30 years. Mm-hmm. And then this is what she's cutting out her entire project with. Like it's sharp. And I could cut your hair with those. I need a haircut. Or your face. Oh, I could. Ooh, yeah. Wow. Okay, Brutal. so settle down, okay. sister. Look at these pins. These are these pins. are priceless pins. pins. Those are Look from Jayette. Well, Jayette's not really a very good friend if these are the pins she's telling you I to pull with. I made her give them to me. Hi, you man. see that, girls? What's wrong with them? Mm. And then look, we got some dual duty, real quality <laughs> thread here. Can you see the lint on that? That's why your machine's all gunked no, up. No, I don't use that on my machine anymore okay. after your admonition. Okay, good job. So good I job. had to buy this $500 spool. Five hundred. Look, I think she's stealing my 505 spray. <laughs> That's the one you loaned me, you wench. <laughs> you wench. You're just a wench. Get out of my personal belongings. This okay. is like going through my drawers. Yeah, your underwear <laughs> my drawer. My underwear drawer. <laughs> okay, so anyway, so back to Nan's project here. Uh -huh. Dang, Nancy. Who's that? Uh, Tara May said, dang. Oh, Tara May. I've spoken with her. Uh, yeah. Um, okay, sorry that you lost the audio. Hi, Sharon. Okay, so here we are. We're going to just give you a brief overview of what Nan spent the last three days doing or not doing. <laughs> so this is my landscape project up here. So this is what she's recreated. So, Attempting. Yeah, she's doing a good job. See, it took her three days, but oh. she was goofing off like we stated before. <laughs> huh. uh, Tara, you Did can you bring your stuff to me, you. but I will tell <laughs> you... Um, oh, Ann Lindenmeyer says she loves the pins she got from me, the butter pins. I love the butter pins. I did not think pins would make a difference. Oh, the butter pins. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, you could gift me those. I, I could. I, but maybe I in lieu of payment what is for working. Oh, 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 oh. For um, 505 spray is what you use to baste your quilts. So you're this, adding to your you're, quilt. yeah, if you're gonna quilt at home like a table runner or placemats, I think Nan borrowed it for placemats. We don't real, we do sell it, but we don't sell it. Um, sometimes we have it, sometimes we don't. But because it's an aerosol spray, they charge us a ton for shipping it to us. So sometimes you're lucky and we have it, but usually I just let you borrow one of mine and bring it back. Uh -huh. Bring it back. Bring it back. Where is it? It's in your damn shop. Yeah, okay, hidden so. in your personal stuff. Good thing I was being nosy. Hidden. <laughs> um, okay. All right, so, back to my Latin um, project. Don't weaken, Nan. Looks good to... Oh, Sarah says it looks good. Thank Sarah you. was supposed to be in this class, but she had a family emergency. So, oh, okay. So when you girls are ready, uh, Nan will still be here doing it. So just let me know when you want to do it, Sarah and Susan. Um, so let's go from the steps. So the steps are initially on the steam -a seam you you trace your fa your pattern on the steam -a seam then you cut your steam -a seam out and then you put it on the fabric and then you iron it on on the back side of your on the fabric. back side mm -hmm. of your fabric so that when that when eventually we know where we're going to put things we're going to score it you know score it and rip off the steam -a seam so that it sticks in place but right now we're only pinning in place to um, get kind of a feel for where the different elements are gonna go. And she has some holes here. She's building on the sky. So you have to have a base fabric to build your collages on. So she's building on the sky because the sky is the furthest away. Right. So that's the back. And then you kind of work from the back forward. forward. Mm -hmm. um, and so if any of you guys watched, we did a sneak live on Saturday. So you might want to go back and watch it because it was so fun. She, she, I, no, yeah, she yeah. Be noticed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she so, takes up the whole screen, doll. So here right. is, I'm sorry. here is Nan. I, back here. So I, I, got so, a good, I got a good angle. So okay. I told Devin he was no longer allowed to sit on a chair and film up my nose. So now he's decided he's gonna film like right here in my face. Um, 
Cool. So Nan did this tree trunk. Can you see how much fiber and fun is there? So you might want to go back and watch Saturdays. We did we did three on Saturday. Saturday was ridiculous for Parade, being our day off. Sample and then the polar kid, dip. Polar plunge. The kids lost at Jenga, so they had to jump in the swimming pool at 10 o'clock at night. Um, so anyway, so here is um, it's fabric magic. You can order it, but we still are waiting on a shipment. So um, we've got a list of people who want fabric magic to play with, but who knows when it will show up. How do you cut the tree fabric? Oh, so oh. what? So you want to take a big piece of fabric. It's going to shrink about 30%. You have no control over the shrinkage. So make it bigger and then cut it down. And then I always just throw the leftovers into my landscaping binder, which has is MIA. Um, but it's just a piece of straight fabric. It's just regular fabric. It's not crinkled or anything. So you just cut it out and lay it out and then you stitch around crazy so you put your you put your do what diddy embellishments on there and then you just kind of go the 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 trying to catch things or you don't even have to catch yeah it's things. good to say flop around because it just gives more dimension <laughs> what? what did she say Randy Vidi wants to know how does one turn audio back on uh oh uh oh how's she gonna find out if we can <laughs> If we can't, well, she can. Somebody read. type. Somebody type to Mary Beatty on how to turn her audio back on. She's That's got, about she's my got great issues. Rate. Yeah. So it's just plain flat, flat fabric, unwrinkled. You know, so it's like this, and then you put these embellishments on. You kind of pin them in place, sort of randomly, and then you just do a free free motion free stitch. motion stitch, so that it looks like this kind of on the back. Now, had I been more the tighter. diligent, tighter, more, it would have created more uh, scrunch. So this fabric, this magic stuff, what's this called? Fabric magic. Fabric magic. So then once you get all your embellishments on, you get them sewn on, then you take it to the iron and you just hold the iron above it. You hover steam. on steam and the fabric goes like that. Did you get her? Oh my God. Yeah. And it just scrunches you be it up. Filming Nan. She's the one talking. Sorry, no, that's sorry, all right. Sorry. No, you can hear me. Uh, you know, hearing me is good enough. Devin, back off. I can sorry. see it. That's I'm horrible. Back, back up, off. dude. Back, back up. No, I'm backing up. Wait, it looks. It's good. It's okay, a face shot. So, oh my God. so this is eventually going to eye. be. Hey, 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 cameraman. In the eye. Pay attention. <laughs> Okay, so this eventually is going to be, come over here, Dev. Okay. So we're going to, so Nan will trace the tree pattern mm -hmm. onto her steam -a seam if she wants. I wouldn't even use steam -a seam So she'll lay, she'll trace this pattern and cut it out of her tree trunk. And the limbs. Yes. And um, and that other one. And this one here. So we'll have plenty of stuff. Plus I have a sample that I did um, from Beth's uh, class uh, several months ago. There it is. That she showed us how to use so it. So I, when you take a landscape class from me, I try to make you make a sample to put in your instruction book so that you always have this instruction because when you're not in a class with me, you don't have me sitting here saying, oh, do this, do that, do this. But you can always reference your samples and the directions. And what I like, though I haven't done it, is um, she <laughs> gives it to you yeah, in know. a plastic thingy with binder holes. So that you binder can make holes, a binder. So that you can make a binder and have these uh, samples and the instructions for easy reference. Yeah, so for all your, all your artsy techniques, any techniques that you're doing, if you make a little sample and save it in with the directions, mm -hmm. it's going to make your life so much simpler because you might not want to do this for three years or five years and you go back to it and you're like, oh, I wish I remembered how to do that. What and the heck do I right. do? Does it unravel a lot when you cut the tree out? Not at all. No. And then when you sew it on, so when she sews this onto here, she's going to just tuck this under oh, the raw edge you're gonna tuck the raw edge under oh. and then as i'm stitching it down i kind of just mush it around so that i don't get a straight, a straight edge line. yeah Got it. 
So, um, so you don't think I need steam a seam? I wouldn't use steam a seam because it's thick it's enough. Stable. You can just pin it, and then when you quilt okay. it on. Okay. So if you look at this one over here, I know we reference this one a lot when we talk about fabric magic, but see how this one I just kind of scrunched it. So I mean, there's a lot of fabric in there to give it the dimension. Okay. Any questions? Nan's doing her other don't job. Look at, don't be throwing away these pins. They're priceless. You told me those were JFs and they were worthless. No, but I can use them for the stamp. Oh, I gotcha. Oh, safety pin. Look at This is ridiculous. Who makes me pick through the trash? Only Beth would. I know. Pins are expensive, aren't they, Okay. Girls? All right. So uh, yet another lesson that I didn't even have to pay for. Yeah. All right. Great. Look at all. Look you, at hey, that. wait. Do you want to save that fabric? No. Okay. I would, but not. It's See, dirty. Because you're cheap. Look at all those pens they were throwing away. Pens aren't cheap. They're like $12 for a bucket. You know what? Cleaning maintenance fees. Here, I'm going to put them right here on her thing. Thank you. Okay, so that's how far she's, Nan's gotten. Maybe later this week. Not this week, because she's got company in town. Um, but when her company leaves, then we'll probably do some pine needles. Okay. And we will video it live so that you guys can see how to do pine needles again. I know it's something that we've demoed several times, but I think it doesn't hurt to learn things a second time. Well, um, and in the middle of the project, you right. know, how to use those. So the pine needles, are these thread thingies? Is that yes. What? Yeah, get okay. up close, Devin, come, and come here, Dev. The pine so needles. these are thread pine needles that uh, Nan is going to learn. They're hanging off here. And does this include the moss down here? Is that the same technique? The, it is very similar. The mm -hmm. moss is kind of just a bunch of scribbles and you use wash away thread, a wash away stabilizer, and you just scribble your threads. You can use two threads. So a lot There's of times, watch me here. I'm watching. So a lot of times you can put two threads through your machine and it saves a lot of time. Really? You can do yes, two? Yes, you can do two threads. I'll you show you. You watch the live? Come I know, we've on, talked now. about this numerous times. I'm out of the loop. Numerous times I, do I have Facebook, demoed you know, you know. two threads and one needle. Wow. When you free motion the tree, does it get caught in the machine? The, so, oh, yes. Good the, question. Good question, and um, you're my star pupil. So all these threads and yarns, they do, when you're free motioning, they're gonna get, your foot is gonna get caught in it. Just clip it and keep sewing. Cause you don't care if it's really attached or if it's kind of hanging. Right. Um, you mm. could, if it bugs you, you could put a wash away stabilizer on top to, and then stitch on top of the wash away. And then after you're done with that, then do your fabric magic. I just don't want to take that extra step and it doesn't bug me if because I'm not gonna see how she does she didn't catch this here but it just adds texture you're never gonna wash this it's well, gonna go it on your wall dimension it looks more yes. real yes um, because you know you don't see a tree as flat you know you see leaves and, and bark. bark and pine needles you know kind of hanging out in front and this and that so that's why I wasn't too concerned and so Yes, it got caught on my foot several times, my presser foot, that is. And um, so I just clipped it like the guru said and just kept doing free motion. But can I show what I'd have on my machine yes. for free motion? Yeah, so, so Beth has loaned me, operative word there, loaned, um, this piece of... The Supreme Slider. Yeah, the Supreme Slider. So because her throat here is so small and she doesn't have an additional table, she... Ew, gross. Um, it's not she, my hair. It's not my hair either. She Devin. probably should Don't have argue. used... There's a baby Supreme Slider, a tiny one that's like $20. But this she, is the one Beth loaned me. She probably should have used the small one because she's too cheap to buy an extension table for oh, her machine like the rest God. of us have. I'm on a fixed income, I keep telling you. Okay, uh-huh. Uh-huh. So I'm anyway, when I'm doing free motion, instead, and the, the, pre, the dog feed, feed dogs, feed dogs, feed dogs yeah, good job. are down, normally the feed dogs are up, so they pull your material through. So with the feed dogs down, you literally push it and push it anywhere you want. And the material really slides very, very easily on this um, Supreme 
slider. Large one, $74.99. Yeah. Small one, $49.29. I'd want to say, tw wanna say it's like $20 or so. Okay. Um, I just ordered the... Okay, the... Anne. I think, I think you're on my list, so I'll take you off the list. Um, who knows when we're going to get our shipments in. Stuff is starting to come in slowly, trickling in. I don't know if there was just a, um, a kind of a time period where the... Supply chain was cramped. Yeah, like people were just cramped. sent home and then mm. they didn't come back to fill orders and now they're starting to trickle in to fill orders. Uh -huh. I'm not really sure how it works out there in the real world. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I know if well, I don't go to work, I don't get a us. paycheck. But apparently lots of people haven't worked through the last three months. Um, oh, they're just coming back. And you totally need to take the class. If any of you are interested, we do have a five-day, so Monday morning through Friday afternoon, a five-day class in July, um, which is kind of, you can do UFOs, you can, um, you can do landscapes, you can do whatever your heart desires. A lot of times when we do the five-day classes, we'll do... Um, We'll play with silks. We do a lot of experimenting in the bigger classes, um, in the ones that are longer. So um, basically, Beth doesn't know what she's doing. So when she says experimenting, she's learning as she goes along and trying to tell us that it's a class. Yes. And yes. the one that we have to pay for. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Well, my knowledge doesn't come free. <laughs> well, you're learning at the same time yeah. we are. Yes. <laughs> um, okay, so that is it, I think, for today. I am, we are, Anna is coming back this afternoon to help us get organized for our, um, for our mystery class, because the mystery class starts next Monday, mm -hmm. so there's a couple of you that still haven't gotten your kits, so I have a list, we're going to contact all of you this afternoon, um, and make sure that everybody is on the same page, so I think that that's all that we have for today. Uh, tomorrow at 3 p.m. Remember, don't join us tomorrow at noon. We're not doing Tuesday and Thursday at noon, but we will be doing Tuesday at 3 o'clock on the Quilt Show Reno. Um, and if you have anything you want us to demo or you want us to talk about again, um, just send me an email or a text or a something, and we will um, figure out how to cover that topic. Um, thanks for joining us, and um, it's great to see all of you guys, and we will talk to you tomorrow at 3 o'clock on Quilt Show Reno.